Oh. Yes, yeah, so we're going live. Hi, Kat. Um, hi. Hi. So this is more of a conversation, rin naman. And um, but uh, let's probably just welcome everybody's watching the live stream. And for those people watching the replay of this um, video, thank you so much for um, staying for waiting for this uh, live chat. Hi, um, maybe Kat, you might want to share uh, or introduce yourself to our audience. So hi everyone, my name is Kat. Uh, I'm an author and currently, uh, this 2020, I officially became a publisher. Um, I'm also the COO, child of owner, true story of our family business. It's called HS Graphic Print. In 2014, I started mentoring people how to write and self-publish their book. So my goal is to prove that anyone can write a book and self-publish it, even if you don't have a writing background, because we have a team of editors who can help you and a community of readers who can provide positive and constructive feedback. And of course, I want to elevate the self-publishing industry here in the Philippines, uh, one book at a time. So thanks for having me, Anton. This is awesome. So this is the first time we are meeting. <laughs> we are meeting yes. online, and uh, and uh, I was really uh, impressed with that uh, headline, no? how to write a book <laughs> and pack passion. Mm -hmm. So um, because I, I'm uh, I've been writing for 15 years in my blog, and I haven't created my first book. So what what do you need? Can you explain to us what do you really need to do if you don't need if you don't need passion? You said in your write up na you only need the plan, but what exactly do you need? Okay, sige. Um, when you say a plan, uh, it involves not just the actual book, but what you want to do with the book. So in our mentoring program, the first thing that you really need is a plan. So, uh, plan. Okay, there's always there are always three parts of a book. Eh? Whether you're writing fiction or non-fiction, uh, there are always three major parts. So we created what we call the three-part template. So for example, you're writing fiction. The three parts would be uh, introduction and um, catalyst. Oh, sorry, beginning. When you're writing fiction, uh, it's beginning, catalyst, and ending. So yung prologue and epilogue, uh, those are optional. It's really up to you. There are many storytelling techniques, eh? but for the purpose of discussion, let's take into consideration what we call the linear storytelling line. So you start with boy meets girl, and then there's conflict, and then ano yung finale niya? Happily ever after ba? Or namatay ba yung, <laughs> yung lead character? Ganyan. So I'm pretty sure knowing this template, Siguro na isip mo, ah, parang ganyan yung mga Nicholas Sparks books and movies, di ba? So, it's very simple. So, what you need is a plan. Okay, so how do you plan it? Even before you sit down to write, you need to identify ano ba ang mangyayari sa beginning, sa catalyst, at saka sa ending. Because when you have those three parts um, decided on, even before you write, hindi hindi ka masastock. There's a big difference between write, uh, you're experiencing writer's block and getting stuck. When you say you're experiencing writing uh, writer's block, it just means siguro wala ka sa mood magsulat ngayon or tinatamad ka lang, ganyan. Pero kapag nasa stuck ka, it means hindi mo alam ko ano yung isusulat mo sa susunod. So, kapag may nang corner sa akin, whenever I do talks or workshop, syempre may nang corner sa akin dyan ka huwag socials. At sabihin sa akin, Kat, ano sa stock ako dito sa ano sa book ko? Parang anong gagawin ko? So, so I always ask, ano ba yung ending ng book mo? And sometimes may mga nagsasabi sa akin, may mga hindi nila alam. So alam ko na doon, ah, eto, writer's block lang to. Ah, eto, ano to, stock talaga to. So we always have a plan because without the plan, which is technically the map of your book, Without this, you're not just writing blind, you're screwed. Kasi sa una pa lang, you're setting yourself up for failure. So, doon naman tayo sa non-fiction. So, for example, in Appendix B, di ba? Uh, I wrote about the eight things you really need to write and self-publish your book and sell your book. Um, sa introduction, I have an introduction. 
And then the meat chapters, that yun yung catalyst, kumbaga. And kasi yun yung meat of the story. And then the final word. So in the introduction, I talked about my origin story, kung paano ko nagsimula, ano ba yung mga background ko sa career. Uh, uh, I worked before for multinational for a multinational company that really shaped uh, my my entrepreneurial mindset. Um, I I was an expat's wife before we went back to the Philippines. So yung mga yun, all of those things kasi it helped me define who I am today and what I want to do. And then I talked about the eight things that you really need. And then your final word. Yun yung call to action ko. Yun yung very important. Kasi bakit ka magsusulat ng libro kung hindi mo rin sasabihin sa mga tao kung ano gagawin nila after you after they read your book. So, parang napakasayang ng opportunity. Kasi nakuha mo na yung attention nila eh. I've, I've edited and I've seen a lot of manuscripts sent to me na walang introduction, walang final words. O parang sabi ko, that's where the plan comes in. Kasi kapag wala yun, sayang lang lahat. Hindi ito, ang book writing kasi, it's not, about sitting in front of your computer and bleeding on pages. Eh. No, it's about planning. It's really about planning. So, yun yung book writing part. So, now how that long, you... How, how long does it take to write that book eh, once you have that plan? It's really Typical. up to you. Pero, pero ako kasi, china-challenge ko yung sarili ko na every, uh, every time I write a book, I write it in two months. Meaning, two in two months, months I produce a product. Yes, kasi yung una kong libro, before I do, I was challenged by one of my idols in book writing, si Mina Esguera. She's one okay. of my uh, unofficial consultants. I always ask her from time to time kasi fan na fan niya ako. So, she gave me an opportunity na, okay, Kat, if you produce uh, a manuscript in two weeks, isasama kita dito sa e-book namin na, on, na online. So, sabi ko, Challenge accepted. <laughs> so, <laughs> ayun, uh, long story short, uh, I was part of that beautiful anthology. It was available in, uh, uh, I think, Kubo pa yata nun, Kubo or something. Uh, oh. Online siya. And then sabi ko, ay gusto ko ng sarili ko, gusto ko may stand-alone book ako. Um, gusto ko makita yung, gusto ko yung cover na dun yung, ano, yung name ko, ganyan. So, I was waiting for traditional publishers to discover me. Alam mo niyo, yung parang kunyari, magigikang artista. <laughs> Kasi nandun na outside yung libro mo eh. So, you were expecting, oh, one of my mentees is online, si Oliver. Ayan. Um, <laughs> yeah. Si Raymond pala, sorry, doesn't want me to call him Oliver. Si Doc Raymond. Ayan. And Jabar, uh, a friend of my brother. Hello. <laughs> Ayan. So, um... Sabi ko, gusto ko, gusto ko ma-discover ng mga tao kasi ang bilib na bilib ba ako sa story ko eh kasi ang ganda ng feedback. Kasi ang tagal, as in na-depress ako kasi why aren't people discovering my book? And I know it's good, not just because ako yung sulat. Uh, but because I I got a lot of nice feedback. So sa kakaantay ko, na-depress ako ganyan. Tapos sabi ng parents ko, bakit ka ba kasi nag-aantay? sa mga publishers, eh, di ba may printing press tayo? So, tanga, di ba? Yung naisip na, oh, nga naman, no? ay, mga imprenta pala kami dito, di ba? Ayun yung machine, eh. Nandiyan yung printing machine, nandiyan yung binding machine, yung cutting machine. So, sabi ko, ah, libre nyo. <laughs> so, mamayag, eh. Kinagat yung bluff ko. So, yun, I, produ- I self-published the first 300 copies of my book. And uh, I, I tag team with a distributor to put it in national bookstore. There's a there's a process for it. And then mm-hmm. I discovered siya ng managing, uh, I think, VP for marketing ng Viva. And they offered me a movie rights uh, deal. But instead of just one, sabi ko, it's actually a trilogy. No, and my first book became a trilogy. Um, pero kasi um, it's a different, of course, that's that's a different discussion because there are many pros and cons if if you sell your book to a movie company. So, pero what I'm trying to say is, with that plan that you have in place early on, it will open a lot of doors for you. That's why I always say in our mentoring program, the product is always the author, the book or the books that the author will write are always just the byproducts. Because what I create are book authors, not just books. Like yung mm-hmm. mentee ko ngayon, uh, isa sa mga mentees ko ngayon, uh, 
he she was able to write about her experience as a dayal oh tito ko hi tito ramir <laughs> um he was able to uh write about her experience as a ckd patient uh and kinorner niya ako sa isang talk ko sa estancia and then sabi niya hey kat i have this manuscript anong gagawin ko ganyan ganyan sabi ko send mo sa akin send mo sa akin tapos let's take it from there and she became very successful in sharing her story. So apart from being a book author, which was her dream, she also became a speaker about uh, chronic kidney disease awareness. So she's talking to sa NKI, we might event sila, she partnered with Sun Life. So again, the author is the product, the book, the books that you will write are just the byproducts. So very exciting siya. Kasi ang relationships natin hindi naman nagsastop kapag naka-produce ka na ng libro eh. There's so much more. There's a yeah. whole lot of word, world. Uh, there's a big wide world na talagang sobrang dami. Hello, tita. Ang dami mong fans. Oo nga! Kasi yung mami ko sa <laughs> mami pakiblast. <laughs> Ayan. Thank you po. So, Hello. So, so Kat, how do you get started? Meron bang uh, trends in books? Uh, kasi the, the way you're mentioning it, parang romantic story or like your personal uh, parang uh, biography, di ba? Meron bang mm-hmm. trends na recently and now we're in the post-COVID world? Ano ba yung mga gustong basahin ng mga audience natin? Ah, okay. Um... Before we go into the different types of books that people write, I want to highlight the change pala, how consumers consume books right now. Oh, yeah, uh, that's important. Yeah. Um, a few years ago, uh, simula na nag-start yung Kindle, yung uh, mga e-books, di ba, yeah, sa Google Play, sa Amazon. Parang everyone's into e-books. Kasi, ang dali, di ba? Parang kailangan mo lang magbayad and then you're na sayo, you don't need to wait. It's nice, um, but uh, in recent years, especially in, um, hold on, I have a, I did my research. <laughs> um, ayan. So in 2019, kasi, there's a report by the Association of American Publishers. Uh, they, re- they found out that physical books, meaning printed books, still outsell e-books. Uh, so it's nice because it, it, me- it meant the revival of the printing industry. Ah, uh, which is nice kasi yun yung bread and butter namin eh. We are we focus on printed books. We print yearbooks kasi we supply yearbooks. Um so it's nice. But in 2020 because of the pandemic, social distancing and even if merong online selling ng books from bookstores, the logistics still proved to be a problem. And Nina, hello. <laughs> and unfortunately, um some many 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 readers kasi they're still uh very uh wary of you know online payments hindi nila masyadong hindi sila masyadong techy ganyan uh, but i think no uh in the next few years i think there will be a surge in ebook sales again because everyone's scared everyone's scared of um going out and getting that book you know you never know diba you never know what will happen so that's why in our business, sabi ko nga, uh, I, I'm doing a lot of pivoting. Uh, why not, you know, why not get the best of both worlds? Kasi ang nakikita kong medyo boring for me sa e-books is parang, ano, text lang, ganun, parang flip ka lang uh, flip, black and white. But as you can see in my Appendix B sa teaser, sobrang colorful niya. Uh, yes, yeah, okay. <laughs> <yeah. laughs> and that's because uh, I'm also a designer. So I was able to create I was able to design my own book. And that's what I do actually for our mentors. We give the design for free. Um so sabi ko, let's create a plan wherein people uh readers, your fans, your 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 fans can uh get the ebook and the printed book also proud parents hello mom and dad uh they're watching so you can get the ebook and then you can get the printed book uh anytime you want and when we say ebook ha, kami, when we say ebook um we're not limited to uh just black and white pages so i really try to make it very very colorful very engaging like parang as you can see some of the some of the pages in my book even have tagalog words diba because mm. um you know, you have to write how you how you talk. 
it's yeah. like you yeah. it's like you on sumabog ka sa page parang ganun kasi uh, you have to be able to relate to your readers and in terms of writing um, there are many types eh pwede ka magsulat ng sci-fi pwede ka magsulat ng romance books there are a lot but recently of course because of the pandemic and daming mga quarantine thoughts ng mga tao no maraming mga realizations maraming mga musings fears ganyan uh, that's why i think if we think this year sucks we should write about this son of a bitch of a year and you know get back at it like there's no better time to write than now kasi honestly we are living in a world na hopefully you know this time so what happen again unless humanity fucks us fucks up everything but I hope that this will not happen again in the next 100 years because I read that every 100 years parang there's a major pandemic happening. But that's why we created this um, anthology project called Coronavirus Chronicle. So what I did was I asked people to write about their thoughts, you know, their realizations during this pandemic. Lalo na may time tayo ngayon kasi we're all stuck at home. So what, yes. what I asked them to do is just, I gave them guidelines like, okay, minimum of 1,000 words, ganyan. And then send to me. Our team will edit it and prepare it for publication. So it's online. It's published online on papercatbooks.com. And eventually, our goal is to compile all of the stories and produce a book out of it. Uh, whether an ebook or a printed book that we will sell later this year. Um, it's a nice way, you know, anthologies are, are very good and successful methods of urging people to write, lalo na yung medyo parang hindi pa ganun ka-confident to write a book kasi sabi nila, ah, my story is too short or I don't know how to write a book. So I gave them guidelines, they sent it to us, we edit it, and we compile. This is an actual example, I'll show it to you. This is our first anthology. So it's called Before I Do Anthology. So it's a pre-COVID world. Kung kailan nag-date pa ang mga tao sa labas, ayan. So I asked them to write about. Kasi what's how how this started actually um our friends, boys and girls, they tell us stories about their dating. Maybe because they know that I used to write for Cosmopolitan Philippines. So I used to be their relationship blogger. Um and then they tell me things like Eh, kahit may kadita ko ganyan. Ano ba yan? Ano ba ginagawa niya ganyan? So, lahat. Sabi ko, bakit hindi natin pagkakitaan yan? So, sinulat nila yung stories nila and we compiled it. So, this is the point of view of women and this is the point of view of men. Bros before oh <laughs> Yeah, this is the brainchild of my husband. And it's actually a two-part book. So, ganito siya. Pag may marketing strategy kami na photoshoot, ganyan siya. Because, you know, boys and girls perspective they never meet so similar to our cover it's a two part it's a two cover and baligtad kasi ang perspective ng lalaki at babae madalas baligtad di ba and <laughs> our, <laughs> this by the way guys this has a volume 2 so if you're interested you can actually submit yan dating in a pre covid world uh in a yeah in a, in a covid world in a post-pandemic world. And our latest anthology is actually The Crazy First Year. So, medyo hindi siya kita yan. The Crazy First Year. So, eto naman, 24 parents ang nag-share ng stories nila about their experience as first-time parents. Uh, ang background dito is, yung mga bata kasi they don't have memories kung gano ka crazy ang mga parents lalo na pag first few years. Like kami na husband ko, ang dami-dami naming stories na gusto namin sanang malaman ng anak namin pag may isip na siya na, you know, pag nakakaintindi na, ganyan. Para alam niya yung mga sacrifices namin. Uh, so, yan. Um, maraming stories dyan. Again, we gave them a guideline, a Q&A type of question, uh, questionnaire. So, from that questionnaire, we were able to create 24 essays about 24 families. And magkakaroon to ng volume 2 again this year. So, if people want to join. Yeah. And dami nagme-message sa akin about this. Because they really enjoyed writing about their journey. So, ayun. So, if you want to write, if you want uh, to join our anthologies, 
uh, just head to papercutbooks.com and you'll see a lot of anthology projects there. Some are paid, of course, and some are free, like Coronavirus Chronicles. It's 100% free. You don't need to pay for anything. Galing, ah. um, so, how do you, like, for example, ako, I wanted to write or people watching uh, this video. How, where do you start? How do you choose which topic to go first to write about? Hmm. Medyo ang hirap din sagutin kasi ako ang dami kong work in progress, no? <laughs> Kapag na, pag na panood na ng husband ko, sabi niya, dami mong work in progress. But this is always what I suggest. Uh, <laughs> use the plan to create a lot of books. Kasi yung plan na yun, there's a template for that. Kapag Kapag na-define mo na kung ano yung libro mo na to, tapos may niisip ka ulit, edi gamitin mo ulit, tapos ang dami mo ng plan, di ba? Pili ka ng pinaka-urgent doon. So ano bang pinaka-urgent doon? Like, what we discussed sa email, um, you should really choose one first because pag natapos mo yun, I swear, people will, uh, your fans, your family, your friends, they will ask you, kailan yung ano, kailan yung susunod na book? Kailan yung susunod na book? So parang kailangan ready ka. Kasi ako, um, lagi ko strategy, while my first book is, you know, out there, while I'm selling the first book, I'm writing the second one, and then I'm writing the third one, so on and so forth. Para maraming choices. Kasi, um, once you pop, sabi nga, di ba, you can stop. So, kailangan, ready ka sa mga susunod na libro. So, yun, again, to answer your question, you need to decide kung ano yung una mong tutukuhan, and then just give yourself a deadline because that's very important because honestly, people don't care if we post on Facebook na, oh, I'm writing a book, I have this novel, blah, blah, blah. I don't care. We don't care. Nobody cares. Get it, get it to your head. <laughs> people will just care if you show up, you know, write that book and make it happen. So, ako, strategy ko, okay lang, sige, mag-post ako na, oh, new teaser, ganyan, oh, new book alert. Kasi that's my way of sabihin ko sa sarili ko, oh shit, parang cats out of the bag. Kailangan kong panindigan yung sinabi ko kung hindi nakakahiya. So, that's my way of pushing myself. So, ang dami kasing ganun eh. Ang dami nagsasabi sa akin, ay, Kat, I want to write a book. I want to write a book. But they never take action. So, you have, once you have that plan. Ouch. 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 <laughs> no, hindi naman. Hindi ikaw. Ang dami. Ang dami. Ang dami. I, I've, I mean, I've been doing this since 2014 and ang daming, ang daming nagsasabi sa akin na Every year na lang, every year, sabi niya, Hey Kat, open na ba yung mentoring mo? Because I don't open the window all year round. Parang okay. there are certain okay. months na open lang yung window. To, in the mentoring program, I'm talking about the mentoring program. Um, so this so year, window, kailan ba? Kailan yung this year? Actually, uh, I opened the window last week. So the window is open, you can apply. And then from there, I will get... Uh, I think 10 na kinuha ko lang, pero sometimes nagiging 20. My last batch was actually 30 kasi ang daming humabol. Kasi last year uh, was the last year na mura yung prices ko. <laughs> Sorry, kasi this year talaga nag-increase kami because my mentors said na uh, sobrang baba ko daw maningil. So sabi ko, okay, sige. Uh, but ang sa akin naman kasi I always give so much more. Eh. And um, I... I never, I, I make it a point na when you invest in me, I will also invest in you. Alam mo, hindi kita titigilan hanggat hindi ka makakatapos. Kasi it's also my name on, on, on the chopping board. My head is on the chopping yeah. board. So, kapag so lahat ba na, natapos? Lahat ng men? Uh, right now, out of the 30, um, marami nang nagsasend ng manuscript sa akin. So, the balls on my court for the editing part. Wow. Kasi we always don't finish ano yun, at the same time. So sa akin, sige lang, as long as you move the needle, lalo na ngayon, di ba, na parang, um, you know, times ngayon, medyo nakaka-depress. There are days na gusto mo na lang manakal, gano'n. Ang <laughs> tao, di ba, gusto mo na lang, gusto mo na lang, gusto kong kumanta ng Don't Cry For Me, Argentina, sa balcony namin, gano'n. Kasi nagkakainis talaga, di ba? Pero, uh, you know, you have to move forward. So, sabi ko nga, uh, take charge of those days na you feel like writing. Because that never happens a lot. That never... Oh my God, my old office mate, si J. Chu. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, I'm seeing a lot of former office mates here. Um, You really need to take charge of those 
times na you feel like writing. Kasi hindi nangyayari lahat yun eh. Uh, just mm-hmm. to give you an idea what kind of mentor I am. I'm not the type na magsasabi sa'yo na, oh, you need to set aside 30 minutes a day to write 300 words. Fuck, that never happens. At least for people like me, ha? it never happens. Ang nag-work kasi sa akin is obsession. So, kapag na- na-obsess ako sa isang manuscript, na-obsess ako sa isang storyline, ah... Uh, usually it takes me two months nga to finish that. Kasi talagang obsession na ako. Obsessed na obsessed talaga ako. Kasi for me, two months obsession is better than one year of dedicated work. Kasi yung obsession, dun lalabas yung, dun lalabas yung, okay, fine, passion. Dun lalabas yung feelings mo talaga to write something. Instead of pinipilit mo lang sarili mo to finish 300 words a day. Parang, oh my God, it never happens. You'll end up writing a very lame book. So, I'd rather people have, you know, spend time not writing. And then, just kapag na-feel mo yung urge to write, maging obsessed ka lang. Tapos tingin mo, makaka-finish ka ng three, two chapters. Ganyan. There's the magic in vodka, guys. <laughs> no, there's, there's magic in whiskey. <laughs> no, uh, hindi, sa totoo lang. Uh, sabi nga ni Anna, di ba, Ernest Hemingway, you have to write drunk and it's sober. So, just take charge of those days na you feel like writing. And then during those days that you feel like doing nothing, mm-hmm. just drink, watch Netflix. Kasi, you know, that's still research. K-drama research. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. do, you, do you recommend self-publishing or looking for a publishing arm? Or mm-hmm. bang, what's the latest? Sige, let me discuss the pros and cons. Uh, quickly lang din. Uh, let me discuss the pros and cons of of book writing, of self-publishing and traditional. Okay. Uh, I actually wrote about it on the blog, pero it's for my mentees kasi. So, ano ba ang pros ng e-book? Uh, sorry, e-book pala and ano. Uh, is it okay if I discuss e-book? Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. I understand, yeah. Sige. Uh, sa e-books kasi, syempre, there's low production cost. Kasi ang kailangan mo lang mag-edit, magde-design, and then publish to PDF. Uh, kami, what we what the programs that we use is a combination of Corel Draw and Adobe Photoshop and Illustrator. So, hindi kami gumagamit ng Canva. <laughs> Sorry, guys. No. You get what you pay for. Uh, you know, you get what you pay for. If you pay us, we give you, we give you the best possible software that we can use. Okay. And then, syempre, kapag e-book yan, stock management mo, very simple, one PDF, one PDF file to rule them all. So, isang PDF file lang yan. Wala kang problema na magsasta ka ng isang daang libong mga book, printed books, di ba? So, wala kang problema. Okay. So, e-book, you don't need to go through the, uh, the tedious bookstore review process because uh, as far as I know, hindi pa pwede mag-sell ng e-book sa, sa mga bookstores ngayon. So, let's... I don't know the trend. Baka mamaya mag-offer na rin ng e-book yung iba, di ba? So, if you have an e-book, um, you can go to Google Play, Amazon, yan, and so much more. You can sell there. Pero ang ayoko kasi doon is very limited sila. For example, uh, my partner in London, they tell me na sa Amazon, hindi yata pwede yung may ads sa libro. But as you can see, my book Appendix B, maraming ads. Kasi mahilig akong tumulong sa mga negosyante kong kaibigan. So for example, meron akong friend na may bake shop, ganyan. O, oh, bigay mo sa kanya logo mo, lagay ko doon. Kasi, alam mo yun, parang help lang. In return, I give them the full version copy. And then they share to their friends, bibili yung friends nila. So, balikan lang. Kasi ganun yung tinuro sa akin ng parents ko eh. You know, palita ng favors. That's how you build relationships. And um, kapag ebook ka, uh, you can launch it anytime. You can launch it on your on uh, in your bedroom. You know, wearing your pajamas, wala kang problema. Ah, uh, yun nga lang. Sadly, kapag ebook, ang hirap kasi mag book launch kasi syempre wala kang paper mahal, di ba? And given today situation and given the situation right now, I don't know if possible na magkaroon ng Zoom book launches, an idea, but I think that's lame for me because I really like I like mass gatherings. Pero 
ano yun, masaya po yun. Eh. Iba yung feeling eh, di ba? Kapag may libro ka, tapos aamoy nila, tapos papapirmahan sa'yo, you know, may bouquet ka ng flowers, kasi ganun yung ginagawa namin sa paper cut books before. Ang cons lang noon, syempre, hindi tangible, less nostalgic, di ba? So, it can't be felt. Hindi mo pwedeng amoyin yung page, ganun. Unless may, meron ng, <laughs> meron ng technology na pwede mong smell yung book kung e-book siya, di ba? And uh, you can't write a dedication on e-books. Except ako, kasi nagagawa ko yung, nagagawa ko yun sa Corel Draw. Parang every full version of Appendix B comes with a dedicated page. Na nandun yung pangalan mo, kung sino bumili, anong gusto kong sabihin sa'yo. So, maraming pros and cons. In terms of traditional publishing, um, depende kasi yan sa traditional publishing, no? When you say traditional publishing, uh, hindi ka gagastos to produce your book. So, ibig sabihin, kunyari, um, ano ko, uh, isa ko sa mga pinakamalalaking traditional publishers in the US. So, what you do is, okay, Anton, uh, meron kang uh, literary agent, sasubmit niya sa akin yung manuscript mo in the format na nire-require namin. Tapos, nire-reviewin yun. Kapag maganda siya, either bibigyan ka kagad ng contract or uh, hihingin namin yung, may mga hihingin na revisions, ganyan, Uh, oh, itong part na to kulang, dagdagan mo. So, ganun. Pero wala kang gagastusin. Uh, ang usual na nangyayari is, we, we will produce your book. We will, hand, we will uh, pay for the editing, publishing, marketing, design, lahat. The whole shenanigans. Pero, 8% or 10% royalty lang ang ibibigay namin sa'yo. So, for uh, as I explained in Appendix B, um, If they decide to sell your book at 150 pesos, okay, let's let's put it into ano perspective ng uh, Pilipinas. Uh, di ba marami kang nakitang libro ngayon na straight from Wattpad, mga 150 pesos ang isa. So kung traditional publisher sila, they just give 8 to 10 percent uh, royalty. So kung 150 nila binebenta ang um, isang libro, 8 percent lang don ang mahukuha mo na sales. Kasi wala kang gasto sa sila lahat. Yung 10%, usually, naka-reserve yon sa mga people na, you know, aggressive. Kunyari ako, yung inofera na ako, na, eh, no, 8%, 8%, 10%. <laughs> <laughs> pa ako dati ng 20, di ba? Siyempre, hindi ako pinayagan. Hanggang 10 lang daw. So, like, sige, ganyan. Eh, kaso, sabi ko, parang, hindi ako pwede makialam. Like, hindi tal- like you know, hindi ako pwede makialam sa design, sa font sa marketing strategy, eh, ano ko eh, mahilig akong gumawa ng sarili kong plan. I have a vision for it. So, sa, kaya rin nag-decline ako. Kasi, um, gust, I, I really like deciding on my own and, you know, testing the waters na, ah, it works, ah, ito hindi. Uh, when it comes to self-publishing naman, kung hindi ka pwede makialam sa traditional publishing, sa self-publishing, ikaw lahat ang kikilos. Of course, with the help of your publisher. For example, ako, uh, I'd like to call myself as a hybrid publisher because we also do the editing, we also do the book, uh, we guide you in the book writing, we do the design, we do the printing, we do the marketing, and uh, we launch the book, of course, and we do marketing strategies such as videos, mga, mga social media posts, ganyan. Uh, and I also build up my my uh, mentees to become speakers, resource speakers, or kung gusto nila ibenta yung libro nila sa mga movie companies, that's, you know, why not, diba? Of course, with my help, sasabihin ko, ganito hingin mong presyo, ganyan, ganyan. Tapos, you know, haggling. At <laughs> magaling ako mong kaypag-haggle sa ganyan. Uh, ang maganda lang sa self-publishing, you dictate everything. So, anong font ang gusto mo? Anong size? Anong paper? Gusto mo scented paper? Pwede, why not, diba? Uh, gusto mo, uh, may mga magagandang illustrations. Uh, ano pa ba? Gusto mo ba hardbound, softbound? Depende, ikaw magde-decide lahat. Pero, syempre, ikaw din ang may cost nun. So, when you say may cost, ikaw, mag, ikaw ang producer. You self-publish your book. Okay, ikaw ang... Ikaw ang producer. Ikaw yung magkakreate. Pero ikaw din magdidictate lahat. Hindi lang ang maganda. Kasi, for example, na-discover yung libro mo, hindi ka dumaan sa traditional publisher, eh di ikaw, maki- ikaw, bumenta, ikaw magbenta sa iyo lahat yung sales. Sa so, ganun siya. Ang maganda lang din sa self-publishing, when you have a self-published book, you can do anything you want. Ibenta mo ng mas mura. Kunyari, may Valentine's promo ka, may Christmas promo ka. So, walang pipigil sa'yo. So, if you're someone like me na 
ayaw mag hindi ayaw ko magdelay sa ibang tao to make decisions gusto ko like fast ah uh, you take self publishing pero of course uh, there's a lot of risk ang maganda lang sa self publishing if if you decide to uh, for example change something or do the prints wala kang kailangang hingan ng ano ng permission kasi ang nakakatakot sa traditional for example sa traditional ka hindi bumenta yung libro mo ah uh, ibig sabihin like mababa yung sales ganyan they can decide sila mismo magde-decide na hindi na sila magpe-print okay and then hindi ibibigay sa mga, mga copies na pinrint nila kasi nasa kontrata yon so again ah uh, Depende yun sa usapan nyo ng publisher. Hindi naman lahat ng traditional publishers ganun. But based on the contracts that I've seen, uh, yun yung mga nangyayari. And as I explained in Appendix B, uh, in 2016 yata, there was this girl. She was a Wattpad author. Um, ano siya, binigyan siya ng offer ng maliit na publishing company. This is a self, ano, uh, maliit na publishing company. Binigyan siya ng offer to print her books, 1,000 pieces, straight from Wattpad. As in straight, like copy-paste, like control c control v boom, print, ganun. Uh, so, they produced 1,000 copies. So, nung binigay na nila sa bookstore for review, ang sabi ng bookstore, uh, this requires heavy editing. Like, shit, di ba? E, naprint na yung 1,000 copies na yun. So, anong ginawa? Sinunog yung 1,000 copies. Like, the dreams... You know, the dream of becoming a self-published author, nandiyan na. And then, boom, it went up in flames, di ba? So, bakit nila sinunog? Kasi reject copies ang tawag doon. So, nag-spend na yung publishing company na yun to produce the books. And na-reject siya. So, hindi, ka na, hindi nila binigyan yung, ano, yung author na yun ng kahit man lang isang sad remembrance of that of that book. So, ang, ang masakit pa doon, since hindi nila in-edit, hindi nila ginawa ng tama, Naka parang blacklist na ng, hindi man blacklist, pero parang ang pangit na ng reputation ng author na yun. So, if she produce again a book with a different publisher, and na-reject na naman, parang, alin mo yun, ang pangit ng impression na iniiwan mo sa mga tao. So, yun lang, ang sad lang. Kaya kami, we are very particular with with publish, with publish editing. We don't print, we don't publish online anything na hindi siya na-edit. Right. Alam niyo na mga mentis ko, <laughs> very ano yan, uh, like, like non-negotiable rule number one, you don't publish anything na hindi siya edited. Okay. Um, uh, uh, may question ako, is it worth it ba? You know, especially now in uh, coronavirus, di ba? Mga tao walang pera and stuff. Um, may pera ba sa pagsulat ng books? There is with the right branding. Uh, pero sabi ko nga, uh, yung ROI mo, yung return of investment mo, shouldn't just come from selling books. Kahit naman hindi, kahit walang pandemic, so lang, hindi naman doon kinukuha lahat ng ROI eh. So where do you get your ROI? So for example, nag-invest ka to write to, to produce books, di ba? Whether it's an e-book or, a print, or printed books. Uh, ano ba ang pwede mong gawin kapag meron kang ganyang klaseng product? So, you become a speaker, pwede ka ma-invite, and then syempre, babayaran ka as a resource speaker. Pwede kang magturo kung, for example, you wrote a book about, I know, um, culinary something, or kunyari, may mga cooking, cooking recipes ka na gusto mo i-share, you produce an e-book. Cooking show, why not, diba? So you have to think that way. You have to think entrepreneurial na ikaw yung product. So there is money. Ako, I believe there is money. Kasi ako nung sinulat ko yung libro ko na before I do, I never expected to become this na nagtuturo kung paano magsulat ng libro. Pero kasi uh, we've proven it time and time again eh. The template works, you know, the plan works. Pero the heart, the, the work com- should come from you also. Kasi sabi ko nga, uh, our mentoring program, it's for action takers. And hindi siya yung spoon feeding. We learn from each other. So it's a it's an investment. And if you are really as bold, <laughs> as bold as I am, eh, no? bold star. But anyway, <laughs> that's why I called my, my mentees boldies. Eh. Kasi sabi ko nga, hindi pwedeng shy-shy ka. This self-publishing world, this pub, this author life, it requires a different type of kapal na mukha na hindi nakukuha na makeup. So, 
if may libro ka nga, gumastos ka, masyado ka namang shy na to take on opportunities, to, you know, to say yes to interviews. So, di ba, naglolokuan ba tayo dito? Dapat hindi ganun. Dapat, dapat ready ka. Dapat ready ka na kapag may product ka na, you are the face of your product. Kasi you have to, you know, you have to think of it as a product that will open a lot of doors for you and will create and will give you money. In terms of ngayon sa pandemic, di ba, of course, people are, people, some people lose their jobs. But people also learn, also need to learn new skills. So if you've always wanted to learn how to write a book, uh, there are resources naman eh. Like, again, yung teaser ko na 110-page teaser for Appendix B. That's basically two-thirds of the book I'm giving away na for free. Um, you can follow that. You can read that. It's it's free anyway. It's online. You just click the link and then there's a PDF that you can read and from there, take action. So, from there, uh, use this time to learn new skills, to, you know, to take advantage of all of, of all of the resources available to you. Para kapag ready na ulit lumarga, di ba? Ready ka. Uh, at least you can say to yourself na, I think I learned something during this during this time. Kasi sayang naman yung free internet kung hindi mo lang gagamitin, di ba? <laughs> so, I mean, hindi pala tayo. Sayang na yung internet. My mother-in-law is watching. Hello, mommy. Mama. <laughs> <laughs> Umabot na sa mother-in-law ko, di ba? Ang galing talaga ng mga, mga parents na mag-blast. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, we'll wrap up this discussion. Pero, can we have a photo lang muna? Let's yeah, have sure. one for the thumbnail of this video. Yeah. Okay, okay, hold on. Uh, i Ano ko lang, large ko lang. Okay. Okay. One, two. One more, ha? Uh, one more. Uh, wait. Uh, Sorry. Ikaw pala dapat. Yan. One more. Okay. One, two. All right. All right. So, you know, I'm really excited uh, to work with you also on, on this one. I really want to publish my book. And maybe we can feature some of your ano, mentees no, na magpapublish yes. ng book. So surprise guys, the boldies who are watching here, can I announce na no? Uh, yes, no. <laughs> okay, so Anton or oh, Anton Diaz of our awesome planet is so awesome. It's gonna be our success, one of our success partners. So lahat ng graduates, meaning lahat ng meron ng finished product ka, like books. Uh, printed ebooks, printed books. You will be featured on his show, just like me. So get your lipsticks ready. You know, I yeah. smile lahe, guys. So pagupit kayo. Pero you know, kapag tatapos kayo, you will be interviewed. Again, you are the product. Okay, the books are just the byproduct. So very yeah. excited yeah. also to prove that you can write a book in six months. It's because the mentoring program is for six months. You know, the 2020 race is for six months. Or six you months. have to give, yeah. You need to give your. That's just the mentoring program. Of course, our relationship goes beyond that. Because what we're building is a partnership. Uh, yeah. 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 The reason why uh, there's a deadline, because hangat hindi mo siya bibigyan, hangat hindi mo siya bibigyan ng deadline. Ah, uh, walang mga yare, de ba? Walang mga yare. You just you just really need to set a deadline. Deadlines are. Uh, extendable you know you can always extend the deadline you know you can always ask for extensions but there should be a deadline hindi pwedeng magsusulat ka ng libro tapos like ilang taong ilang taon na pala sayang lang sayang ang investment oh. sayang yung stories mo i've been a fan of your website since i was in a, in the digital advertising company yes yes oh we'll we'll publish that um Question lang on deadlines. Kasi yung mga ibang mentoring programs I attended before, ang ginagawa nilang uh, deadline was the MIDF, yung book fair, di ba? Which is September. And obviously, wala na sigurong book fair these days. No? So, um, what, uh, yung deadline ba, it's more of you just setting a deadline? Parang gano'n? Uh, pwede ka rin mag-hit ng, for example, like ngayon, okay, uh, June, mag-June na, di ba? Uh, one of the best targets would be by December, you need to have a product already. Kasi at least masasabi mo na, oh, ito Christmas gift, no? Books are always nice gifts to give during the holiday season. So if you want to give, if you want your book to be one of the things that they give to friends, dapat by October, 
tapos ka na sa manuscript mo. November, nagpiprint na tayo. Para December, larga ka na, di ba? Kasi, uh, honest, uh, I'd like to think na every December, people will still spend. So, they have budget. I know it's kind of hard right now because of the pandemic. Pero, you know, because of the holiday season, there are many ways naman on how to on how to um, give people something. So, it's really up to you. Pero ako, ang nakikita ko for this year, for this mentoring uh, batch, for the uh, 2020 batch, I think December would be a good time to target. Again, ah, when you say December ang launch mo, dapat October tapos mo na yung manuscript mo. And that's so much time, actually. You just give yourself two months to finish the book. Kasi sabi ko nga, ang, ang lib- ang, ito pa pala problem ng mga tao, they try to cram everything in one book. Huwag ganun. Dapat, you know, uh, one book, one thought, and then just write so many more books. You know, create a library, create a multiverse. Um, like sa Marvel Universe, di ba, there are many characters inter, um, you know, cameo, tama ba? Doing cameo sa iba't iba. So, ganun gawin mo. Huwag mo i-cram sa lahat. Kasi yun yung, nag, yun yung parang roadblock ng mga tao. Eh. Hindi sila natatapos kasi ang dami nilang gustong isulat sa isa lang. Oo oh, nga. Tama. Very good. So, 2020 batch. Yes. Ilan na 2020 batch mo? Meron, um, maraming gusto na nag-apply. Yeah, so ngayon meron akong mga 50 na, na nag-apply doon sa link. Kasi di ba dun sa enroll today, there's an apply here. So, I already have 50. Uh, last I checked, 50. So, I'm just gonna choose 10 from there. So, <laughs> dazzle me. <laughs> Sabi ko, I'm not here to impress anyone. Uh, you are here to impress me. Kasi dun ko makikita na, ah, eto, this will make it. Uh, you don't have to be a fake na parang i- if I fake mo yung pagigi mong confident. Uh, hindi. Kasi, uh, meron ako menti before na sobrang shy niya. Pero ngayon, parang, uy, wow, okay to, ah, mas confident na siya. So, yun. So, uh, I'd also like to take this opportunity to thank everyone na nag, you know, nag, nag-watch ngayon. Especially yung mga nasa, nasa ibang bansa. Like, alam ko yung ninang ko ngayon na nasa US. Ano, <laughs> alam ko gabi na ngayon dyan, di ba? So, thank you. Thank you din uh, for, for having me here. I really enjoyed. And I look forward to more chats. Awesome live chats with you. Yes. And working on your book. And hopefully, sa mga next few chats natin, meron ka na rin libro na ipapakita, di ba? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, it, it's about time, you know. If I learned something during this pandemic, you really shouldn't delay. Uh, you really shouldn't delay your dreams. Kasi, uh-huh. so, di ba, you know, so where do they apply? Dito sa website, okay. Paper Ad Books? Okay, so where do they apply? Just click on PKB Mentoring Program. PKB. Uh, yung ah, ito, oh, yung ano, drop down. Sa so drop down, please. Uh, Pioneer Batch? Bold Batch? Uh, actually, yung Pioneer Batch, you will just see there the names of my batch. Yung Bold Batch, and then din sila. Pero if you want to enroll, click mo yung enroll today. Okay. Alright. So dyan sila mag Okay. Yes, and then there's a, nakalagi dyan yung inclusions and how much the value really is. And there's there's the button where you can apply. Sa so in the end, no? Yes, towards the end. Yeah, sorry, just remove. Yeah, yung mga ano yan, mga testimonials. This one, si Lab, he's also gonna interview me for his entrepreneur show sa Abu Dhabi. And this one wow. is my mentee from India. Wow, I think she's also. Uh, wow. <laughs> yeah, I think she's also watching right now. Uh, yeah. Kasi she asked me if this interview will be in English, and no. <laughs> I, uh, yeah. Translator na lang ang Jolly, sorry. Uh. Yeah, so, oh, this one I'd like to mention lang. Si Tita Linda. Um, I, my parents kasi have this group called the Barcads. Uh, twenty percent. So they're a group of you know barkada nila seniors and kaya 20 kasi they get 20% sa mga restaurants so they wrote a book they're all seniors ah they're all seniors i think dalawa na lang hindi 60 plus sa kanila and i uh they produce their own book may budget diba so they produce their own book yeah uh they produce their own books and i think i offered them na they write the second book right now kasi ang dami nilang mga side projects ngayong pandemic. Like, my dad is in, ano, um, creating toddler furnitures, and then another friend of his opened, uh, you know, yung mga palutong ulam sa uh, deliveries, ganyan. So, it, it's nice. Even seniors can write books. 
you know, on their own. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, that's them. nice. Oh, oh. So, ang deadline na application May 31. Yeah, oh. but I might extend this one because um because yun nga, it's a pandemic. Uh, I might extend this up, extend this up to June 15. And kasi may mga naka-schedule din ako na interviews for the next few weeks. So I might extend this one, extend this one, the deadline. Okay. Um, thank you. I, thank I, you for that. Yes. yes. And then is it quickly can we show them like yung teaser lang for the appendix B? Yung um uh, can you scroll up please? Under books nonfiction. Dito? Ah, hindi. Ah, books. Ah, ito, ito. Um, books? Under books, non-fiction. Uh, Appendix B. Okay. Yes. Okay, sige. Sige. Um, nandiyan siya. It's, it's free, guys. It's free, guys. The 110 teaser is free. So, sayang. Kasi di ba usually ang teasers konti lang, ganyan. So, ito 110. It's two-thirds of the book. Sa wow. baba niyan, merong parang read the free teaser here or something. It's a button. And then PDF lang siya. You don't need Ito, a special diba? program. Download. Yes. That's, that's, that's the one. Okay. Ganda. Ganda na layout nitong ano na to. Thank you. <clears throat> I actually did this one. <laughs> I did this one, yeah. And then the illustrate illustrations, uh, I got it from a resource in Japan. So... In Tokyo, based in Tokyo, Japan, yeah. Sobrang nice. And daming free resources here. So, you just need okay. to, to look. You know? Okay. So, humaba na itong <laughs> discussion natin. Maybe one last, uh, one last final thoughts for people dreaming of writing their first ever book and they want it 2020. Mm -hmm. What do they need to do? Okay. Uh, Pinag-isipan ko talaga ito kanina, no? Uh, <laughs> Final thoughts. Uh, ang masasabi ko is, uh, hold on, where are you? The best thing you can do right now, not because it's my book, ha, go to papercutbooks.com, read the teaser. It's free. You don't need special programs. Kasi in the first two chapters, actually in the first chapter alone, I already explained how to do the outline. So, pwede ka mag-DIY, di ba? So, kung uh, hindi, hindi ka pa ready mag-mentoring program, you can use the book to do it yourself, you know, gawa ka na outline. And from there, take action. Kasi lahat ng plano na yan, uh, those are all plans. Lahat yan hangin lang. So, you need to take action. So, wherever you are in your writing journey right now, uh, always remember, dreams should have a deadline. And in terms of investment, uh, always invest in yourself. Kasi sabi nga nila, diba, if you invest in yourself, you will never lose. And how much do you really need to pay to realize a dream, diba? So, it's, it's, I'm not saying it's gonna be cheap. I'm not saying it's gonna be easy. But I'm saying it's gonna be really worth it. Kasi it's something na hindi na mawawala sa'yo. Kapag nandiyan na yung libro mo, uh, you can revive it. Uh, you can do extended versions. You can do reprints. You can do volumes, different volumes. Pero nandiyan na yan. Once nag-start ka, uh, the first step is always the hardest. So, kapag nagawa mo na yung plan na yun, everything follows. Everything follows. And writing the book is the easiest part. Lagi kong sinasabi yan. Yung selling, selling it is a different ball game. That's why we create this mentoring program to also help you sell. And, of course, may community kami who can also help you out. We have book influencers kasi all of my mentees are book influencers. So, they share ideas. So, sana marami kayo natutunan ngayon sa mga pinagsasabi ko. And thanks, Anton, for having me. I really enjoyed it. I really, really enjoyed it. Pasko na, nakarad tayo pareho. <laughs> oh, <wow. All> right. <laughs> Thank you, Kat. All right. Thank you so much. And I'll see you online. Yes. I'll see you All online. Right. All right. Bye. All right. All right, Kat. Thank you, ah. Uh. Bye. <laughs> and Bye. Uh, I'm excited. Uh, effective yung, ano mo, eh. Effective yung Appendix B. Galing. Galing. <laughs> uh, like, can I just share that I learned that sales letter strategy because of my mentor, Raf Marabut of Copywriting Dojo. Uh, oh. He also has a mentoring program and he enrolled in my mentoring program kasi gumagawa rin siya ng libro. So, uh, I learned copywriting, persuasive copywriting through him. So, yun. Uh -huh. uh, ako rin, mentor ako, pero may mentors din ako. 
So, so ikaw, pero ikaw nagsulat o siya nagsulat? Ako nagsulat, pero the template, the formula that I used is his own. The, he Uh-oh. calls it seven, seven point persuasion. Oh, pero yung ano, yung design, ikaw na yun. Oh, that's all me. <laughs> Lahat yan, kaartihan ko lang. <laughs> pero question, ito, question lang. Okay. Uh, wala naman na siguro nanonood. Uh, meron pang oh, water. Ma- <laughs> yung, yung ano lang, yung the cost words, is that more of a marketing or is that a natural? <laughs> okay, I really, I thought about I thought about this for a while kasi syempre coming from a corporate world, bawal ka magmura, di ba? Oo, oh, bawal. Pero kasi... I, I don't know. These are just words for me, you know? I mean, I know that I'm not an evil person. I can be, ah, uh, pero <laughs> I'm not an evil person. Your words don't really make who you are. So for me, sabi nga nung uh, editor ko and one of my senior editors for the team, si Paul Abiyog, who wrote the foreword, ang branding ko kasi talaga is well-placed swear words, eh. So sabi ko, okay, own it na lang, ganyan. And, you know, I, diba, Appendix B, B stands for bitch. So for me, it's just branding. It's just branding for me. Because you know, people who really know me, they know na <laughs> iba. Hindi naman iba. Pero um, I just don't like. I'm just so tired of you know some people telling bullshit about book writing. Like whenever I hear people na oh you need passion. Like, Alam mo gusto mong manuntok. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Kakabwisit. Parang, okay, sige, passion, passion. Yung kaya gusto passion mo, di ba? Kung wala ka rin plano. So, for me, if, don't come to me for inspiration because I don't do inspirational shit pa ganyan. Uh, I, I'm more on business. I'm more on business talaga. Like, go to me if you're really an action taker and if you're serious in producing something. Kasi ano eh, ayoko rin nang sinasayang yung, yung time ko. Like, tuturuan kita. Tapos mm. parang, hindi ka rin magte-take action. So, sayang lang. Sayang lang yung, sayang lang investment mo. So, yun. Oh. To answer your question, oh. it's branding. <laughs> okay. That's good. Uh, good to know. Uh, kasi, uh, that's what I'm talking about. Hindi, hindi naman. Uh, but I think, the reason also, I'm trying to do this live, uh, yung mga live discussion. Kasi, iba rin eh, di ba? We, talking mm. to the person uh, behind that. <laughs> behind that. It was a, uh, Natakot ako actually nung akala ko <laughs> mabait ka pala sa <laughs> Oh, hindi ah. Uh, Ewan ko, tanongin nyo na lang yung parenties ko. I can't believe it. Ay, ka ba? <laughs> Terror ba? Hindi, Terror ba sila? <laughs> hindi, pero ano lang. Ewan ko, parang hindi ko, hindi ko na finite yung ano yung urge na parang siguro sa bahay to. Parang ganun. Parang wala kayo, basta ako. Basta ako okay ako, you know. I I I also choose the people that I mentor eh. Kasi, syempre, di ba? All of you are gonna be my success stories anyway. So, you know. Uh, uh, ano ba? You don't really need to be as bold as I am naman eh. Uh, I'd like to call myself bold kasi ang dami kong mga <laughs> mga choices before na parang, oh shit, what, what's, what, am, what am I doing? Parang ganoon. Not knowing na uh, it will lead me all to this. You know, my starburst, starburst guys, ha? hindi star maker, hindi star struck, starburst. In other words, sabog yung career ko dati. So, I never really understood it until now. Um, all, everything led me to this. Yung mga sabog-sabog kong career before. I mean, I jumped from one discipline to another, from one company to another, you know. Coming from, my, yung parents ko kasi they came from a generation na, you work in one company or two companies, you retire there. Oh, kasi hindi. Para ako nagpapalit ng t-shirt dati. <laughs> like, after a year or two, like, okay, bye. You know, and so, hindi. Um, I just really learned na you need to go through all of those things to be who you are. And then once you know who you are, you just need to stick to that. You know, and, you know, embrace it fully. Ayan. Huwag kang matakot sa akin, Anton. Mabait ako. <laughs> amen. Amen. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Kat. So, we we'll, right. uh, connect my email. And yeah. <laughs> let's we'll do this. Our, yeah, we'll schedule our call. As promised, I'll do the contract tonight. Uh, uh-huh. Meron lang akong susunod after this. Um, uh-huh. May susunod na booking. Grabe. <laughs> <laughs> <Love, yeah. laughs> anyway, may i-wrap up lang ako na deal. And uh, I'll do the contract after this. And I'll announce na rin dun sa group namin na you will be one of our success partners. And everyone yeah. will do this. Alright. 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 Okay. See you online. See you. Bye. Bye, Kat. Bye.
Bye guys.